a six, so that's oh, a four. Make a lot of Correct? Yeah. It sounds four. like it. Elliot, Jerry, Stephen, David. Four out of six. Any changes to the agenda requested at this moment? No, no one printed. I have one printed. There's oh, one. There it is. Well, there's one up there. Any are there any uh, public comments to be made? I guess I already made them but that was before we were on the record. I'm gonna make them on the record. Well you 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 have them recorded. Yeah, I want them in the you you want to record them again. I want them in it's that I'm raising this with the subcommittee as well as with the governing board in the last meeting that public records requests made and appeals to the head of the agency must be adhered to in accordance with law if we're gonna have a legitimate organization. I asked the governing board members for support at the last meeting, and so far I have seen no response from anybody, nor has the policy committee met to address all the records issues. Uh, and the next governing board meeting is? Next Tuesday. Tuesday. Um, It's the appeal of the head of the agency more than the records request. The appeal was made to the head of the agency. Correct. To Jeremy. And Jeremy did not reply to it. Either the first one. Or the second one. Or the second one. It's clear that the law is real clear. You have to do it within five days and you have to either sustain a poll or produce the records and you have to notify them. If you disagree, you have the right to go to Superior Court. So I explained that to Jeremy. Yeah, no. Repeal to the head of the agency for public records? Correct. Okay. Yep. This will catch his attention, the fact that it's in the minutes. Would it not be in the minutes of the other meeting where you raised it? Don't know. Yeah, it's right. Okay. Maybe we'll get out of here kind of early. <laughs> Although I think we should weigh in and try to advise the policy committee if, uh, when they do take up the public records exemptions. I had an exchange, just a personal email exchange with David, because some of the brilliant analysis data mapping that he did, to me, might be the kind of stuff we want to discuss whether it should be proprietary or not. If he's doing it on behalf of the organization or if he's just giving it to all our competitors. So but that's a discussion for that issue. That's not a complaint, that's a discussion yeah, for that issue. Right. Okay, yeah. good. So then we can we can move on to the, uh, on the agenda for the uh, DBA, that was, that's you, right, Elliot? The yeah. DBA issue, right, all that work? Let me just. Um... Yes, please. Hey. hey! Right? Yep. All right, you guys get to find out. You can fix that later. Tired I tired am. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, I sent this around via email. I only printed off one copy, I apologize. Um, but uh, I, I did actually, I do have it up here as well. Great. Uh, so basically, um, you, let's skip page one for now um, and we'll go back to it. But basically, taking the suggestions that I, I heard, I mean, I didn't go back through the minutes, come through the minutes and see every single suggestion. Just was like, this, this is what I basically heard. Central Vermont Internet, Central Vermont Fiber, Central Vermont Broadband, Central Vermont Telecom slash Telecommunications as sort of like the things people had floated out. Mm -hmm. Control scroll uh, and make that wider. Um, so, so basically I took those concepts 
And then what I did was I took the sort of elements of them, outlined the pros and cons of each element. Um, I think probably practically do that with anything that we develop, right? Break it down into its individual parts and then sort of determine what the pros and cons are. Um, uh, I just realized that CV, since you had telecom in there, or DB telecom and telecommunications, CV yeah. telecom could be confused with Champlain Valley telecom. Oh, well, that's a, another, I think, clear uh, con. <laughs> I, thought, <laughs> I thought that was the weakest of yeah. uh, the, the sort of options. Um, uh, Anyway, um, you know, I don't, I don't know if we need to go through these. I, I, it, I'm happy to do it. I mean, I think that the, key, the core is, I think that the central Vermont prefix is actually fairly valuable. Um, and, and just as an aside, I was, I was sort of surprised as I went through this. I was like, I was like, oh, CV, central Vermont internet, central Vermont fiber, it's so stodgy and boring nice. and, and not very markety, salesy, whiz bangy. Yeah. Um, but as I really thought about it, I recognized, I began to recognize that I think that um, the, that uh, one of the strengths of these small, hyper-focused organizations is that they don't need to have sort of an umbrella where they're incorporating all these different sort of models. And they, we're, we're, we're providing internet, right? We're providing internet and we're providing it in central Vermont. And those two things are true. And, and that's about it. And if, you, and if you have that in a name, it's very clear to people who read it, that's what they're getting, right? Um, so I have sort of turned around to well, a- You didn't like Wicked Vermont. I like Wicked Vermont. I, I, so, I, I like it. Like, a couple of, we can, we'll get into that a little bit deep in, yeah. in a second. But basically, uh, really quickly, yeah. internet, the, the pro is it's very clear what's being provided. The con is that many people have internet. Um, it, I do perceive it as being a more lengthy word than fiber, for example, uh, and it doesn't have a strong brand distinction. Internet is generic. There's it, many different kinds of internet. Yeah, go ahead. Throw in a couple of other factors with the use of the word internet. Uh, internet under the new FCC open internet order, which is being challenged in federal court, um, in effect preempts state regulation. Uh, and I think I'd ask you to consider the vision where we are going to build a high performance network that's interconnected to the broader world internet, but we want to build a, a network that might carry some VPN circuits, that might carry uh, public safety antennas. We, we might be doing more. So you're saying that you're agreeing with him, it's a weak choice of. Yeah, he's choice of words with massive implications as to whether or not we can rely on the Public Utilities Commission to order redundancy, diversity of circuits, battery backup, etc. Yeah, yeah, I think I think it's I think it's not very strong. Um, fiber, I think it's very clear how the internet is being provided. Right, it's being provided via a fiber line. How the network is being provided. Or whatever. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely not going to say we're providing a network to, to customers that would confuse the crap out of them. I'm I mean, confused yeah. already. Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, I, I, I think I just perceive that as being a non-starter. I mean, we're, we're, putting, we're putting ones and zeros across a wire. Like, that's the internet to, to the common consumer. And that's what we're doing. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's common amongst comparable municipal networks, I think. You know, people, I think, are beginning to understand what EC Fiber is, right? They're beginning to understand what a fiber network is. So they start to, if, if we're in that category, they get it. Uh, maybe technical consumers holds potential to be restrictive in terms of organizations' technology usage. I say holds the potential to be uh, because I personally, and, you know, this is up for discussion to this committee, I don't think that... Um, we necessarily have to, I mean, we could probably still call ourselves whatever fiber and have, you know, last mile service, I would think, some last mile service in a different technology. Or yeah. Correct. I don't you think know. your name holds you legally to do anything yeah. other than have that name. So your yeah. whole discussion about the FCC yeah. saying we're internet and we can't do this or that, yeah. I, that's just a name. Yeah. We provide what we provide. The yeah. name is, yeah. you can't be held to your name. Uh, broadband, um, you know, bro 
broadband communicates minimum speed uh, available. I mean, that's, you know, broadband is defined by a minimum, um, which uh, I think is, is, a, is a potential pro. Um, you know, they know that it has a certain speed limit. Uh, They're still calling 10-1 broadband. Yeah. Even though the FCC ruled that 25-3 is the minimum definition of broadband, they're still funding and justifying 10-1. So I, right. uh, broadband is a little too ambiguous. Yeah, it is. It, I, I, I do think it's ambiguous, and I think that, uh, I mean, it's, I have broadband and it sucks. Well, that's so, many people have broadband. <laughs> that's pretty straightforward. I, I used I used the term the service is poor in our in our little analysis, but yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a that's a major con both with internet and broadband, right? Like people have DSL, they have internet. They have satellite, they have internet, but those they stick. Um, broadband is a major con, all right. Yeah, <laughs> Tele, telecom telecommunications can communicate reliability, utility aspects of organization. Uh, you know, it could, you know, reliability and utility come with the term telecom. But, I, you know, there's some downsides. It's unclear to people what you're providing, and uh, it could be confused with San Champlain Valley Telecom. Um, but I did a quick run through of sort of the comparable, you know, this isn't exhaustive, but comparable sort of things throughout the state to sort of see what, what type of names people are using, right? Um, EC Fiber. Obviously, is close to close close to our model. They use fiber. They use their region, East Central Vermont. Which I, I looked that up. I was like, oh, East Central Vermont. That's what that stands for. I know. Okay. Really funny. Uh, first light obviously is evocative of, of light coming across a, a line. Uh, Fairpoint is I have no idea. Uh, Vtel. <laughs> Vtel Vermont Telephone Company is it's an abbreviation for it, so they seem hip, um, and obviously they're they're incorporating multiple uh, technologies in, in their circumstance. Fairpoint has gone and become consolidated communications. Oh, that's. You can tell he doesn't live in the movies. No. Uh, I live in. Berry City. Uh, All kinds of choices. Yeah. So Charter and Comcast are not on that. I didn't include them. Um, I said excluded national, like national brand names like Charter and Xfinity and Spectrum, and uh, mainly because. Um, well, they are direct competitors. They're offering they, fiber. They, 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 they are direct competitors. Was that? I said we we're talking about naming as opposed to the service. Yeah, they're direct competitors, but but the 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 thing about those organizations is that they have they have a brand name that's that is nationally recognized, so they don't have some of the issues that a startup might face. So I just didn't include them. Sure. Um, Where's Mansfield Community Partner? <laughs> uh, it's in Stowe. Stowe, I guess. Yeah. Because Stowe Cable is offering their fiber connection. I don't know. Um, I Google, you know, I was googling stuff. Googling around and found it, and I was like, "Oh, MC Fiber, EC Fiber." You know, it's, there's the uh, Berlin Tel uh, our friends, Kingdom Fiber and uh, Cloud Alliance, or you know, by friends, I mean the, the, the guy who's on the board and owns that stuff. Um, Berlin Telecom. Anyway, so uh, what, what was the reason you didn't like net or derivation, like net, network? And, yeah, yeah, I want CV Net. You know, I mean, CV Net. Actually, um, you know, uh, I don't know. Did I put it down here? Quick, zip, you know, I was like just messing around, but like ZipNet, uh, QuickNet, CVNet. You know, I didn't, I, I didn't poo poo that at all. Um, I do, I do think that. I, I do think it's it's a, it's a lot less of a meaningful term for some people. Um, I don't know what net, yeah. What's Anzep? <laughs> so so basically then I went through I yeah. found this map and I went through and just sort of clicked around and looked at what other municipal fiber networks call themselves um, I broke it down into three different categories one I call literal which is like place technology right um, then there's sort of this like weird thing portmanteau abbreviation acronym so like some way they like sort of smush things together or creatively uh, take that practical thing and smush it together into something. So like 
OptiNet is optical net network, right? Um, fiber I just, net. I, I just see net showing up often. That's why. Yeah, thinking. yeah, that's a good point. It's it is. I mean, I guess it's common enough. It's it's worth considering. One syllable. It is one syllable. Yeah. Um, and then I and then I had a category called evocative. So less literal names that have some sort of that are intended to evoke something in the consumer. So connectedness, speed. It's speed are typically the two things that people are really going for. Are you going to explain ANZAB or just call Vivo Switch? That's a that's a place. It's, it's just that right. place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wired road, why not? Wired road, I wired would call road. <laughs> Let's get wired. Uh, wired CV, um, and then and so anyway, so then I you know some yeah. conclusions were that I think geographic focus is valuable. Um, there are other ways than Central Vermont to evoke uh, a, a geographic place. Um, I'd love if you if you all you know you all live here if you have any input or ideas on on something that is closer to the mark. I found that it was either too Vermonty or too a town, um, but you know I think it's important. Was that? Oh. So, no, I, I actually, if you if if you're thinking of more than Central Vermont, Winooski works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I like I I liked Winooski. Okay. Um, Are all of them remember towns? Pretty close, I think. Orange is orange, orange. is probably orange is probably the dividing line between the Connecticut River. Yeah, the or orange actually ends up on the other side. But, yeah. Uh, and Roxbury is on the is on the in white. Is on the white. I think it's yeah. half. Part of Roxbury would yeah. be on the Winooski, I would think. Yeah. I think it's at the. I thought it's a dog at that point, yeah. but it's. A, yeah. And I thought it was kind of fascinating, uh, yeah. you know, like, you're like, see how far Central Vermont goes, <laughs> and, it, and it goes, right? Like, EC is East Central well, Vermont. we're really right? North Central Vermont. <laughs> we're North Central Vermont. Yeah. NCV. 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 <laughs> um, but somehow we got, we got skipped over when they were putting out the dark right. fiber. There, yeah. There's central Vermont. There, there, that's probably where EC comes from because that's one of the regions. Yeah. But there's there's no central. They kind of like. Well, they included Montpelier. They went all around us yeah. somehow. You mean yeah. the state bill fiber? Yeah. Well, they were building it in the corridors where the big carriers were least likely to build. Yeah. Here we are. Oh no, we're, we're riddled with. <laughs> we have so much fiber here. here. We got so much fiber. We don't know what to do with it. We just have no manager. Yeah. That's why I'm saying we should start by leasing stuff rather than building. Anyway, so we could have an evocative name like 802 Onion or something River? like that. Onion, Onion, River. Onion River. I, Onion I, River Fiber. Onion River Fiber is pretty cool. It's a nice one. I, yeah. I, I kind of like that. Um, and then, you know, so basically pairing that, that locality to, you know, either an evocative term or a technology or a combination of the two. The reason I like Onion River rather than Winooski is the lack of yeah. 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 I had the same. That's true. I had the same thought when I put Winooski down. Um, and the Onion River is kind of common parlance. I think large. I mean, it's you see it in Montpelier. I don't know how much I see it in the. So it doesn't go much beyond Montpelier. Inter the, the inter It's just the co-op, right? <laughs> well, there's the, the, the bike store. So the co-op is the co-op. The, the, the co-op is under the But there is an onion. Onion River Sports. Onion River Sports. Oh. Onion River Animal Hospital. Um, you know, it's... Which is all local, 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 yeah. local stuff. That's all local stuff. That's not as Barry. In fact, people at Barry won't know that Winooski and Onion mean the same thing. Oh, shush. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> well, it's in Barry. Come on. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, I think I think Onion... I, mean, I, I, I kind of like it. I think it's kind of cool and has like a local... A, a very strong local vibe, right? It, 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 it does it communicate, work. right, to people that, that it is a, it's a locally run sort of thing. Uh, anyway, then I just like quickly threw up some, some adjectives largely around fast, but I've tried to come up with some real reliability yeah. ones that weren't <laughs> stodgy, yeah. that was a challenge. Um, and, you know, what, and, you know, we love Wicked. I almost went into... And and I and some of these I just stole from like uh, tiers of commercial providers, so like the Xfinity Blast tier, oh, right? right? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, like yeah. 
Like that's just like one part of their business, but it's all of our business. So it could be the name of our whole our whole uh, business. I think we did is kind of poking fun at an indigenous, you know. Actually, you know, strangely enough, there's a whole section in the Boston area and, and Southern Maine, where uh, New Hampshire, where Wicked is also in common parlance. Yeah, oh, very much so. Oh yeah. Well, Rhode Island. Yeah, yeah I, I, I think we're good. like I think we're on the Wicked. periphery of the Wicked Zone. We're, we're actually. <laughs> 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 that itself is something. Let's go, let's go millennial and call it epic. Epic. Ooh, Ooh. let's write it down. So, uh, uh, Elliot, where do we go with this? So you've wait, done you've wait, done wait, all you, this you, work. They're looking at the group here. So I I think I mean I think I think. Let's decide on something and try to get the board I, vote on it until next week. I, 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 I think you should divide on, th give the board three choices. Yeah. yeah. One good one, one okay one, and one crappy one. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, 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 you're not leading us in any direction. We're in the Montpelier City Council on the garage. And then finally, let me just scroll back up to the top really quickly. Um, you know, I didn't. I didn't exhaustively look at these, and because we, you know, I wanted to have a, an yeah. open conversation about the the names. I didn't actually go to the Secretary of State or or okay. the um, U.S. Trademark it would, database. Yeah, this get further down the line. But I did do a quick sort of scan of some of the you available know URLs. This, the available URLs. Um, CV Internet is actually out completely. There's not. Did, did you notice who registered? I didn't do a who is on it. No. Um, but, uh, you know, Fiber Vermont, I mean, and the other thing is like, like, I, I think a good name might actually, you know, I mean, we can have a name that, um, has that locality, but we could have a URL that gives us room to grow. So like Fiber Vermont, if we or want, 802 fiber. or 802 Fiber, suddenly, you know, if we want to, we could slowly start to like, <laughs> well, <laughs> take on the world, <laughs> take on well, the world. Well, point that out is that we may find like EC Fiber has no video package. There, there's different degrees of capacity that will grow in different areas and if we become one of the more uh, full featured we may in effect offer services into other communications union districts that they don't have for themselves. Yeah. I, I went to Michael Michael's Kingdom Fiber website mm -hmm. and he's offering telephone and TV. I don't know where he's getting his TV, but... He, uh, if you go to Kingdom Fiber, uh, it, it shows you who it is. Well, and as long as he's got Al Jazeera, we're good to go. Yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. That's a Burlington Telecom reference from a couple of years ago. And they had a little flap around Al Jazeera, defining Al Jazeera. Uh, anyway, um, so... so the other thing that's important to know about URLs, um, which I've just sort of guided my own organization through, is that you, you don't have to have an organization uh, URL that maps exactly to your name, right? Um, it can be something that is slightly different. Um, Are all three of these available to what we're doing as an organization? Com, net, org, they're all, they would all isn't yeah. there some distinction, that, or there never, not anymore? We could do co-op. There's not so, even top of the domain. So the so the deal is is that um, most internet service providers see use net as their primary URL. Um, people who are actually typing into a, a browser to go to the thing, they don't usually distinguish very well between net, com, and org. I guess I don't so, know really what the difference is. Uh, net stands for network. Com stands for commercial, yeah, uh, and org because stands organiza for organization. Right. So, so one's nonprofit, one's commercial, and one's for a network. Yeah, but, uh, job, and job. Job. Right. But are any of those available to us? Oh, yeah. we, we could be we could be dot com just as easily as we could be dot org. Correct. We Even though we're nonprofit. Own. Correct. Be wise to get both. Correct. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's why I was looking at all three because if, if we choose, we'll buy all three, all three right. and they'll all stream to the one place. So right. that if somebody. Right. Because as I said, people who are typing it in, they can't distinguish. We so, also don't want somebody with a name so similar if you can correct. help it. So dot biz and dot co I, And dot mm -hmm. io. What's that you know? you put <laughs> it's, it's If you look in at high-tech high companies are using io. Yeah, just I mean. For, just to, it's, just, it's cutesy. I don't know. Most of them don't mean it, my it stands, it stands for input-output. Oh, okay. It really, it's, it's, really? Yeah. 
It's it's just digital one zeros. <laughs> yeah, anyway, it's uh, just, and it's one less keystroke. <laughs> right, one less keystroke. Anyway, so so th that's the end of my little presentation. Um, I think if we have time, Mr. Chairman, um, you know, I think it, we can quickly, you know, I can whiteboard some stuff if you want, and we can talk about the potential locations. I think there's only two, as far as I'm concerned. You know, but like a, like a geographic uh, prefix or suffix for the name, so like Central Vermont or Onion River or, you know, whatever else. I'm for continuing this. We're on a roll here. I don't see why we'd stop right now. Cool. Yeah. What does anybody well, else say? Yeah. They include this, get a vote next week and yeah. be done. And move exactly. It would be yeah. nice to move on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, as I said, uh, I thought the first thing would be like a, a, re like a way to designate the region. Uh, so we got CV, Central Vermont, you're going to just, I'm, I'm going to write a little allegedly so it can go fast, um, and uh, Onion River, I think I heard as people sort of being like, hey, Onion River, okay. Right. Uh, can I put slash, or uh, let's write it as its own thing. It'll be, yeah, it'll be one or the other. Yeah. Uh, and then I think probably, you know, if we're talking about the 802, 802, 802, 802, 802, 802, 802, 802. If no one's grabbed that yet. Yeah. It's, <laughs> um, okay, so that's... Region. Those are our regions, I think, that we sort of are keen on, right? Um, I also have, like, you know, granite and yeah. G's and crows that's minced oath that means Jesus Christ. So I don't think no. that we probably want to name our yeah. organization... <laughs> That. Holier than that. Our else. service is divine. Yeah, All right. Yeah, um, divine. Oh, God, you are good. So then uh, uh, I think the other thing that we're talking about was, you know, I mean, we can mix and match, but essentially uh, that te technical piece, I heard .NET and I heard Fiber, and I heard like not a lot of support for any of those other sort of technical terms. Does that sound right? Yeah, telecom is, I, I agree that it, it had connotates reliability and utility grade, but yeah. it's too vague. Uh, so fiber definitely clarifies gigabit speed. Yeah. Um, and, we're, and we're at the moment Central Vermont internet. So should that be up there for the sake, should what? Often one of the choices is to go with what you got. Yeah. And right now we got several Vermont internet. So would you not include that up there to be one of the choices for the board? Um, I don't know. I what do you guys think? It's not available at the Secretary of State. And it's also, and it's also, it's not? We, so we submitted our our papers and we're not gonna be able to be incorporated in that? Thing. If the papers are submitted as a certification of a vote of a creation of a municipality, but and it's taken up by, and the URL's gone. I, yeah, I, and, and I'm we don't like it. suspicious of who registered the URLs, the domain names. I think Jeremy did. He says he did. Oh. I asked him. I can tell you, 802 Fiber, we have org, org com, R. Yeah. That, I would say we available. should work with CV Fiber and 802 Fiber because one gives us statewide reach and one gives us Central Vermont reach. And I think maybe. Yeah. There, that is, I mean, the, I mean, URLs are twelve bucks a pop. Yeah, no, it's not cheap. like it's once a year. If we had, yes. if we had a bank account and some money, huh? Uh, yeah, I mean that's. But we have a finance committee. <laughs> you know, I mean, if we if we could if we get down to three, you know, I might I may you know buy them on behalf of the organization now. Um, before you know, before, the draft before that goes out. up on, <laughs> <laughs> before before that goes up in some enterprising young person. And, and, we, and, we, and, we, and we know that there are. <laughs> yeah. Last night you were streaming live. Oh. So. Okay. Are you streaming live, sir? Okay. Thank you. Great. We have a window. <laughs> um, you know. Uh, okay. Um, and then. Can we rule out we can just or really no, no. I think we're. I think we're. We, we've got what's here, and I. I would take out Winooski even because of that, that confusion. Because of the town confusion. Yes. Yeah, I could yeah, concur I with that. I agree. All right. Um, and so, then, 
see, I, I, I would pr present it this way to the uh, the board. Present what? Those five. The, 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 uh, you, you've got uh, three. Uh, three fixes and two suffixes. Three fixes, two suffixes. See what see what uh, people like. Cool. Uh, should we give a ranking of what we think and have them still? I think we we just did. No, we did. Well, not yet. I like that we should give them. Do you, do you guys have it? And, and and we don't have any interest in like the more like, you know, the one, the only one that, the only evocative one that I like, or like the only evocative thing that I think is good, is um, uh, the use of the word actually stream, only because I think more and more as people use that as their primary entertainment access point. So like streaming Netflix, about streaming music, yeah. torrent. <laughs> torrent is a, <laughs> I haven't I haven't torrented in a while. Um, well, you no, can't have stream. Onion River stream. Stream. So, uh, Onion River <laughs> stream. <laughs> you know, yes, that's true. I had thought of speed Onion stream River or torrent. something like that. Um, and maybe that's just a little too flash, a little too salesy for our like, it also, it, homes, homespun. It, it also, to me, Alludes to uh, low quality, you know. Stream. Yeah, I, I watch Blu-rays. I don't stream audio oh or video. You know. Holy moly. He's a Neil Young advocate over there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, low, low quality. <laughs> low quality. Oh, I don't know. I I stream in 4K now, um, without issue. I, I, oh come on, man! You know you guys are killing me. I can barely get an 18. <laughs> Kilobyte <laughs> email from my computer to the guy I'm sending yeah. it to. I'm, stream I'm streaming 4K HDR. Okay. All right. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm streaming Netflix and perfectly happy with it. I don't know what you're. Anyway, okay. I, can I cannot. I, I just wanted to raise it as like a, as a potential avenue. But if you guys think that this is good, I'm good with it too. I mean, we don't need to like, you know, I don't. I'm. I'm not the the twelfth man on the I think that's jury. That's, I do too. That's okay. five. Options or Great. some number of combinations and serve it up. Great. You want to prioritize it? Uh, actually, the way it's prioritized right now is fine with me. CB fiber was my first choice, and it's at the top of the list. Cool. I like so, AO2 myself. So and I like on your river. I like AO2 as well, but I think we ought to do both because. Oh, yeah, I think we could do all of them in terms of reserving the. So, so here's what I would propose doing is I will take this and I'll actually just integrate it into yeah. this document right Perfect. here yeah. and they can just have and we'll just send the whole thing yeah. um, but do you want to do a few more domain searches and see about biz and info yeah I mean you know biz, biz and info I think are I mean if somebody has that stuff they're so I mean I, I, I oh, bit, bit, actually I, I wouldn't worry about biz at all that's, that, 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 that's yeah. pretty obscure stuff yes that, that, that's we're not a co-op either no. We 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 could decide to be, but that would be no, a. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we get fifteen no. communities to say we're not a co-op. We are a you know, uh, municipal anyway, entity. So with Five. with your permission, I'll take these and I'll put them into that. You take those, right. put them in, yeah. and uh, right. did a good job. Sounds good. We were thorough. <laughs> no, that was Damn great. Yeah, no, I like it. All right. It's six choices. Yeah. Six choices. Six yes. choices. Cool. I like it. Okay. Uh, let me write that. Let me in let me minutes. ask you a question about this though. When we yeah, while while you're doing the minutes, yeah. let me let me just throw something out there. So the um, the next meeting is on Tuesday. Tuesday, this coming Tuesday. Okay. So I will be in town and I will be able to attend the meeting. Does anybody well, else plan? Yeah, really. Does anybody else plan on attending that meeting? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. I was just a little concerned about throwing this to them with nobody from this committee at the meeting to uh, to be able to explain stuff should there need to be explained. Well, if, if all of us don't go to the meeting next week, there's definitely a quorum. So. Yeah. No, I they can. They'll have a quick and have a quorum without us. Elmore didn't show up last time. Oh well, that's. Several others. You're talking about us. You're not talking about the others. Okay. Uh, is it a, no, it's not a committee. It's the board. Oh, 
The dog. All right, great. Uh, and I don't think I need to write them. Do it. I, I, mean, I, can, I don't think I need to write them in there. In the minutes? Yeah. Um, if you you know, do it. Up, do it. Do it. Do it so it's in the minutes. Yeah. I. I yeah. He, he, Three prefixes: CV, Central Vermont, yeah. OR, and River, and then you know, two. Two suffixes: fiber or net. Eight oh two, yep. Okay. Cool. Um, Got it. And I'm not necessarily actually specifying if there are suffix or prefix because sometimes, I mean, in some and places, a lot more than six. it actually works in terms of to be five or eight oh two. I wrote six potential suffixes slash prefixes, oh, okay. indicating that there's six words that so could, it could be fiber in the river. Yes, it could be. I mean, there's a few places where Central Vermont works better at the end of whatever it is. I don't know what they are. I, I can't remember what they are. I wrote them down. Okay. Let them figure it out. Chairman? <laughs> no, I would... No, this is waste, very good. We will waste 20 minutes if we do that. That takes me to me. Yeah. We, we can boil this down to 10 if we solidify a recommendation. We, 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 boiled, we boiled it down to 6. Yeah. Yeah. They were counting on us giving us one. Yeah, well, well, you know, it's an, the fiber net distinction is is pretty important. So is the regional determination. I think th this this is okay. No cat and mouse. No cat and mouse. No. No wicked. No wicked. No wicked. Sorry. All right. Wicked. Shall we uh, move on to organizational structure? So I did, I did far less work than you did on organizational, than you did here on organizational structure. I apologize in advance. Two things, one, a time constraint. I was home less than five days last month in August. And uh, I also ran up against my knowledge of anything that's useful to add here. So I'm, re sorry about that. I am reaching out to the group what I did was I, I put together a really simple matrix to help my feeble mind think about how this might work. So on the component line, on the component column, I have the major elements that we're working with, that I believe we're working with. And then I had three different opportunities of how those would be run, owned, meaning own, run, however you want to look at it, we can further define whether it's CVI, excuse my uh, terminology, um, whether it's leased or we have a contractor doing the work. So either we're doing it in-house, we're having a, we're leasing the equipment or we're having a contractor do the work or we're partner thing, partnering with somebody to, to do this component, this element. And I was just walking through here and I said, well, I, I, you know, this is easy enough to do to make a matrix. And one, I wasn't sure if, this, if these components are appropriate because this is not my line of business. And uh, second of all, I, I didn't feel like I had the wherewithal to do any evaluation of this. Yeah, I, have to, I have more copies of you. Want. Yeah, I'm sorry. I thought I, thought I did that. So... You know, I basically, you know, started started with the with the with the the dark fiber, and figured, okay, that's going to a set of servers. I don't even know if they're called servers, but they're they're what, what's in the what's in the trailer at EC Fiber. The, that equipment, it's going from there. It's being distributed out to the lines. We have customer service and a and a customer database, which is a very important component of this. And what you know, how where that's owned and how that lives, and then of course we have the uh, whatever equipment is is required at the premise, whether or not we provide that at all or not. Again, these, so I I, I just broke it out this way very simply, and if this is nothing more but for the round file, you know that's fine, and we can we can restructure a way to think about this, but 
I was thinking that it, it, it's not a bad idea to relatively early on in our organization to think about you know, what are we going to own, what are we going to lease, what are we going to do in-house, and where might we be better seeking a partner and start getting those items out because there's going to have to be quite a lot of follow-up for whatever decisions made. So I'm just kind of laying this out there as a matrix with no vetting on my part whatsoever. I mean, the, 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 only, the only thing that I, uh, that I put in here is, as, as uh, some kind of evaluation is as far as the dark fiber line goes, I didn't think that, that this organization was actually going to be owning some, some fiber at that level. I I've, think we will. I think we will build fiber and own it, but we'll typically light it up. We'll have spares and grow from that. I'm, I'm talking about the dark fiber. You're talking about like a trunk line. I'm talking about if, the trunk if, line. If there yeah. are existing trunks on, uh, it's not detailed, but... Um, yeah, yeah. The, the Vermont Telecom has... Uh, has not in our area. They have very little... I mean, no, that's right. Not in our area. I mean, but that, First Light's here. First Light, exactly. But First Light is good. Oh, first, whatever they're called. In, well, let me take a step back and suggest that this is useful work, but I think it's early in the process. My understanding of organizational structure discussion had to do more with the relationship between municipality, public benefit corporation, co-op, kind of the, how are we doing business? How are we forming ourselves in representation to the community and to other businesses? We're going to be a, both a customer and a service provider. Mm -hmm. We'll be a customer to uh, construction contractor with bucket trucks that goes out and hangs fiber for us, we will be a service provider to the customers that call us for tech support when their motor goes down. Well, let me, yeah, I'm not so sure where, where, where's the cart and where's the horse here, because mm -hmm. looking at some of the choices you make on this matrix may determine what road you go down as, 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 as for, for that kind of organizational structure, which well, is, why I, which is why I started here. And early on at the last meeting, I raised the thing that it's my view that we should inventory the fiber and fiber access points that are already out there and available to us and fight for access even through the PUC so that we can affordably and rapidly get a network up and running using facilities that are already in place and then determine where we would need to build, even if we are going to build over some of the areas where we're leasing now because they're either they're going to need the capacity in the future or because it's going to become uneconomical for us to continue to lease. If we're going to need 144 strands out through Route 2, we're going to want to build that. So no. we would own that. Well, I, yeah, I'm, but I'm, I'm not sure this is not part of what you're saying. We might not want to build the, the, that 142 lines. We might want to partner with Somebody. With Washington, um, with like with it. the with the co-op, yeah. and have them build it, yeah. which is one of the questions that I have here. So I think I'm even at a more fundamental. You're jumping ahead, thinking you know. So what are we, what are we going to do in year three of this process? Right. I'm I'm thinking month three, and and maybe this isn't relevant. And if it's no, not, that's it perfectly fine. Well, I I, but, I guess I, you know, and I'm going to uh, show either stupidity or lack of. Um, Understanding here, but the, we we basically are trying to set up a, a business, albeit a, in the form of a uh, municipal, uh, you know, this uh, municipal uh, Communication structure, union a communications union. Too. But we have to uh, somehow identify a market. Um, we have to uh, identify capital resources, mobilize them and uh, be able to provide a service at some point that is marketed directly to. Right, and public. this is the providing the service mm -hmm. part. These are the routes we can take to providing the service. Yeah. Okay, I, I guess where I was missing uh, something here, which was when somebody said co-op or whatever, was um, what is the entity that is uh, raising capital since we are, uh, you know, our only model really is EC Fiber. 
They just got an eight and a half million dollar bond. We, Today's news. We have, a, we have a finance committee looking at that, so I think we shunted that off to a finance committee, no? No, I'm saying it is the communications union district that will be raising the answer. Raising the answer. Right. Yeah. Whether, yeah. they, hire, whether yeah. they hire a co-op or not, or whether, you know, yeah. that's yeah. what I think. That, 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 yeah. that, it's like our, um, you know, yes, they, they did that bond, okay. Uh, the, they also had a more incremental strategy when they started of getting mm -hmm. up, you know, uh, Lightly served areas that uh, provided uh, some cash flow, provable cash flow, in order to put them in a position where they could. And and actually, um, to be honest, I feel uh, somewhat. I feel like I may have recommended putting this on both this and financial approaches, and I think it was early in the process and before we had seen the EC fiber presentation. Right. Um, and, and I was thinking more along the lines of like, you know, how, how heavily into nonprofit world are we going? It, that's, that's literally what I was thinking in terms of organizational structure. How heavily into nonprofit world are we going? Or are we exclusively, you know, a capital, you know, like a, an enterprise that makes money off of fee for service, right? So I was trying to figure out that mix. And so I recommended that we think about it. And then I realized it's just sort of like everything we can do. I think another. Part <laughs> it's, of, it's well, the, let me push you back to that yeah. a little bit further. Is that uh, if you were thinking about it again then at this moment rather than uh, a couple of meetings ago, what would you be looking to see at this uh, time right now? I mean, I think this is it. I think, I think, I think if I think the you know, especially when we divide the finance and the and the organization, like how how we raise the money versus how we run ourselves and and and. And I think that was the other thing that I think I think you're right. The question, the question, and and the where they become inexorably tied is is how we organize ourselves somewhat determines the money, the cash flow that we need and when we need it, right? So especially whenever it comes to anything that says in-house staff, we start to see our our costs just rise, right? Um, there are tremendous advantages to having people in house and operating and operating under oversight, um, and having an ED and all those things, um, but but there's disadvantages too, right? So an executive director, right? Except the, uh, this would be somewhat equivalent to a city manager a, as opposed or, to yes, a city manager slash yeah. C, CEO COO. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Um, My recollection of how we got here. Is that we realized that EC Fiber had partnered with ValleyNet, and mm -hmm. we put a list together at our last meeting mm -hmm. where who were our potential operating partners. If we were going to operate the way EC Fiber does, we're a governing board that never gets their hands dirty, and we hire Everything a right. company to do the work for us. And that, I think, led us to identify all the potential customers that went from Champlain Valley to ValleyNet to Hotelco and whomever else, or Washington Electric. But it did not. So now I think the development committee's scope changes from developing the finance capacity that's now handed off to the finance committee the development is developing a customer base and developing the capacity to get the job done either through contracted subcontractors or employees so in business yeah right so this is the getting the job done side of that yeah. this is not the marketing where are the customers who are the customers side but don't we have to first decide to what degree we're going to build a business and to what degree we're just going to govern a contract with an existing business? Yeah, I think well, that's, that's exactly that's what, this, what is. this is. That's what this <laughs> matrix is. That's if you, yeah. if you, that's all the areas of making that decision. If you pick all yeah. the right boxes, you just created one nice. business model versus another. A totally outsourced entity. Right. Right. We could, we could end up being a totally outsourced entity or... As are, and, and are there, I mean, I know I just, you know, 
just like gamely said, there are many advantages to having staff. And, and I mean, what are, I guess, you know, what are the pros and cons of having, you know, like, like what are the pros and cons of having everything outsourced versus having one employee, you know, or having one employee who's project managing multiple contractors or something like that. Uh, okay, you know I mean? basically, if you are assuming that we are doing a business of sorts, Okay, the first principle in business is always do not let somebody come between you and your customer. Okay, you have a whole list here of uh, entities that would come between you and your customer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so if, um, you know. Well, that doesn't mean every aspect has to be. No, no, I'm, right? I, 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 yeah. I'm just uh, sort of yeah. trying to put a different frame on it to, uh, you know, imagine where, where is it appropriate for you to subcontract because right. every time, you know, in the viable, uh, shall we say, volatile economy that we live in now, which is becoming more volatile all the time, anytime you make a contract arrangement, conditions change, mm -hmm. okay? So you bid, you, you spec out, you know, something at one level, you bond for it, and oh, look at that, it's more expensive, and we don't have the wherewithal to uh, meet that. So to the extent that we can control things within house and operationally, we have more uh, ability to uh, keep our costs contained. And um, maintain continuity. And maintain so you're not, continuity. You're not switching plus a learning curve that somebody's on. They get to go move farther on that learning curve than getting, than getting dropped off and having Right. So any, anything that has to do with customer interface. Yeah, and, there, and there's a line for that here. Cu customers and service. Customer interface is exactly what I was thinking. When you call up, who's answering the phone? Right. When you, when you, you know, when we were at EC Fiber, their folks are sitting right there. You know, they're looking, they're looking up on the computer immediately. You know, where's my serviceman? What's going to happen tomorrow? You know, where, whereas construction, you know, is one of those things where you, every, every even the Comcast will, <laughs> to some so, degree. Uh, yeah, sub, sub, sub it out. So that's uh, that's not your uh, area, as much of an area. But the closer right. we get to the customers, uh, in the institutional arrangements, the more the es instead of is at the end of my name. Oh, uh, I you, used, you got, I used the uh, you got it so well. Yeah, well, I you, use the proof. I use the the you were the spell check. You you get out of here. You were the guy <laughs> next next to my grandfather at Ellis Island. His name got spelled with an is. Okay, so it's a touchy subject. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just you do it so well. So uh, you might as well do it all. Someone to get between you and your customer. I think it's an important uh, maxim to... Well, I think a, a key part of our marketing strategy might be the community ownership and the jobs creation. We're, yeah. we're doing this for ourselves, and therefore the job opportunities that we provide to the community people, the training programs, the, the, the pride of product support, you know? Uh, yeah. That to well, that's, yeah, that's, a, that's an imaging thing, and that's and true. Well, you know, you are, you are, this is your community yeah. owned and operated uh, and I, and network. I, sorry, and I do think that VTEL, I mean, you know, like VTEL or whatever, they, they ride that like crazy, right? You go there and they've got, yeah, so they got the, 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 the first ring, they've got the basket of apples <laughs> waiting for you when you go, blah, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> one other thing I just want to put in, um, Stephen, I, you know, I don't want to completely disregard your concept that I heard you say at one point, which was effectively to, to only do the, the, the fiber piece to underserved places and then lease it back to, um, you know, well-heeled uh, juggernauts like Comcast. You may have misunderstood what I was saying. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What, but, well, what did you mean? I mean, you said something along those lines of like laying out infrastructure and then leasing it to somebody no, completely, No, what right? I was saying is that we should... In, 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 in a different meeting. We should inventory what infrastructure is out there that would allow us to turn up a network quicker. Because it's going to take millions of dollars in planning and capital to build everywhere we want to serve. 
And whereas we can okay. turn up a network to all our, a little bit of network to all of our towns in a year if we do it by leasing facilities from people who already have abundant capacity. Okay. Where, where, where are those, I, 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 I'm sorry if I am appearing thin here, but where would those exist? Um, yeah, I don't uh, get it. I, 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 don't, I don't get who, who has existing capacity that I, uh, locally. That, right, and I would like to teach the whole board to know what to, to know what they're looking at and inventory it in every travel they do. So, because I can tell you from down every street in town, where Sovereignet, where Comcast has fiber, where the access points are. And, and I no no I, 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 I fine oh, that, that that's not what I was asking. Okay, Sovereignet. Uh, and Comcast, okay, are not going to be interested in leasing to a competitor at any rate. That yes, they are required to. They are required to. Sovereign Network was funded with federal, with federal money. money, and open access has been a requirement in state goals and policies. For at the same, at the same so, cost that they are paying. A non-discriminatory But cost. wait a minute. I thought we were looking to serve areas that don't have good internet service. Well, we want to do that too. You, you, we it, cannot it, do that without stealing the customers or capturing the customers from the areas that are currently lucrative. Well, but mm -hmm. actually, I was going to ask her different EC fiber. <laughs> two different uh, things. <laughs> EC fiber gave us a very different thing, and I've heard that this from other places too. You start with the places that are not served, you know, like so, and, and because you have suddenly a captive audience, pent up a pent up demand that does yeah. require. <laughs> A chunk of capital. But it does yes, require it does capital. require absolutely. It's going to cost millions of dollars if you were to capital, for example. Right, but, but and we could generate some of that by leasing facilities and starting to capture revenue customers in Montpelier. I was just going to say. So here's Sovereign that with a lot of fiber in Montpelier. <laughs> yeah, I will say. I will say. Paid for with public money. Right? I will say, as a former, and I shouldn't probably even Go say ahead. this. I'll say it. As a former Montpelier resident, when I got the EC fiber flyer. I was like, give them two hundred dollars to maybe get internet in a year and a half. Oh, five. <laughs> I'll just stick with Comcast, thank you very much. Um, no, no, I, I, I even called, called up and found out it wasn't even going to be a year and a half. It wasn't going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's not that it isn't going to happen. It's that it wasn't. But this is the discussion. Uh, but I, I guess I'm just saying, like, I had no incentive. Sorry, you, you had picked a low-hanging fruit that's basically yeah. what missing yeah. five to say that it is going to take capital. I mean, it, and it's going to take two years or three years. Yeah, sure. we, now, we're the, not going to get the, around the, it. But the, the beauty of it, uh, going to capital, even, and this is the kind of stuff where there may be capital sources like um, uh, the state uh, credit uh, facility here. Uh, or it could be the rural, the, the, you know, the rural the development. And rural it looks like development. Kingdom, rural development. Looks like Kingdom Fiber is being funded by USDA. There sure. you go. And, 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 and what, what happens is yeah. Why not you, you have an un, unimpeachable business plan there because, oh, we have uh, almost guaranteed 70% penetration right out of the box. Okay. So, uh, you know, what we can find from uh, USDA, from state, um, I'm not blanking on the the, uh, you know, because there is now this new provision that they have to put. Uh, BSCCU. What? BSCCU. No. Um, um, it's, you're it's, thinking it, the, the treasurer's office. The treasurer's office. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they have to put ten percent mm -hmm. of the state money into uh, state investments, uh, and this would be a perfect one. So it would be a no-brainer, and Beth would buy it in a hot minute. Uh, you know, you 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 actually are you know having done laid the groundwork of saying okay. Here's who we're going to contract for. Here's what it's going to cost to get it. Here's where we're going to set this up. Here's the cost. So you have. So we need enough uh, money to do that business plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Going then on that basis to those facilities is not a uh, undue consideration. Okay. Whereas trying to do the same thing, if we're going to try and get capital to lease the fiber, et cetera, in uh, Montpelier to set up to do it, where. Uh, you know, the same thing you said. Oh, Immediately not. competing with right. folks that already have service. Right. Yes. Yeah. So but we're no, we, This is an important point. We are building a different model. We are building a generative economic model where the money supports, sustains, and stays local.
Comcast is doing an extractive economic. But he didn't change his internet provider. He didn't change his internet provider when he got that letter that said that. Because oh. they weren't, didn't have an, it was vaporware. They didn't have a service to offer. We, that's all, that. all we have at this point too. Whereas we know yeah, it, it's provable. It's you can true. go to Callus. You can go to Cabot. You can go to any number of other places and say, "You're going to deliver service." Hey, yeah. Uh, and 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 I think the the core piece when they said go after business business people, you know, uh, private business people. Yeah. Wasn't necessarily that there's a lot of them, but it's that they are often willing to write a check for their neighbors to get it there, right? That was that was what right. they were saying. They were saying they were saying some, and I think there's somebody on the board. I can't remember who it was. They're like, they're like, I have literally gone to the the Northfield people and I've said I've said I will pay you thirty thousand dollars to like bring this to my house, yeah. right? And, then, and it's a no-go. And so if you can find those people, then then you start to build My it out. My point right? is that the bread and butter is in the businesses that are in the concentrated areas, and we're going to need a share of those. As the contracts for yeah. every school and library expire on Sovereignet, we should be ready and willing and have a business plan to capture those that, that, that's so, I, that, Again, that's a separate issue. That's a different yeah. set of customers so, so than, think, than residential customers. The ones that we could do immediately would lead to, to like sort of pull this back a little bit, I think what might be, I don't know how the mechanism to do this, but I think what might be helpful is to A, develop a plan based on, plan. well, develop, is not a full business plan yet, but like three potential, you know, three potential approaches to, to the business, right? One which presumes that we find a partner, a local partner who can help us build this out. One that presumes that there is no, there is no local partner and we have to do it ourselves. And one with, and, and then like maybe potentially one that, you know, one that is focused on a highly populated area first initially, mm -hmm. and one that's focused on a rural area. Uh, and, and, and there's a hybrid of that too, right, Steven? Yeah. Which, which I think is probably the best option, which is to find the Sovereignette, like get to the edge of the Sovereignette, lease to the edge of the Sovereignette, and then build that last mile. Right, I think yeah. that would be right. That's, that's basically good. treating sovereign as but dark fiber. I think we're going to have to have a discussion sooner than later with the policy community because we're going to start treading into stuff that we do not want on um, nationwide videos yeah. to be mined by the people who we're going to be doing right into business at that. But but before we go too yeah. far, before we go too far, we we need to close this discussion down because we have other things to cover. Yeah. What 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 are the do outs from what we have here? Are the are the the, the points that you listed, uh, developing very preliminary business plans for a local partnership, no local partnership, rural approach, dense population approach. I mean, is that something that we should good, yeah. leave here and Synapsis. and and who's going to do? There's five of us, so who's not going to do one of those things? <laughs> well, let me. Or you want to add a fifth one? Me. No, I want to throw one more factor in, is that up until now, both Vermont Electric and Washington Electric co-ops had expressed disinterest. Morrisville Electric is a municipal that covers a bunch of towns, including one of our member towns, Elmore. Uh, that is changing in that the CAF 2 money, a billion and something over the next 10 years, was just awarded. Is it annual? No, no, just no, one time. no, it's a cumulative, there's so many billion, but uh, 183 million went to a association of, of rural electric. Yes, I saw that. And yeah. not Vermont. None of them are. There. None of them are. In fact, it's but, like we keep on missing the ship. Well, no, but, but I think what it's done is it's caught the attention of Washington Electric yeah. and Vermont Electric, and they are reevaluating to what degree they're going to get involved in this. Are they going to try to add it as a service? Or are they going to look for a team who has demonstrated the capability to partner with and do it? Well, we have no demonstrated capability, but we can come to <laughs> the table and talk. Right. Also, you know, by the way, I, 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 perhaps I'm missing something, but even the uh, leasing the sovereign of fiber, okay. Well, first line is that. First line uh, is uh, you still need um, the components at either end, the uh, interconnect to uh, you know a point of presence at some point, the um, 
you know, so there is a bunch of capital that is required to be in place before you're uh, you're able to serve a library or a school, right? The, uh, so and and the I mean, less than you think, I, I believe. There, there's points of presence no. with VTEL, First Light, etc. Yeah. in Montpelier already. So you just spin off of them. We would our, our most cost-effective internet connectivity will probably be VTEL. It's also more reliable and faster, and it will be home better than the state. More reliable than the states ever. <laughs> Okay. So we need to. Uh, I got. I got to be honest. I don't know anything about writing a business plan. <laughs> well, I mean, I was going to have to write some grant applications too. I don't know who that is. I mean, is 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 that do do we need actual? Even even if they're preliminary, do we really need business plans at this point, or do we or do we need? We need to make decisions before we can write business plans. It'd well, be that's a very that's, different that's business that, plan. what I'm saying is, do we need to somehow vet these ideas? Yeah. Maybe maybe it's only coming back with the criteria to to, to vet some of these ideas, and we can hash it out or something like that. Well, let's let's make the word partnership more clear. Do we want to basically uh, team with an operating entity like ValleyNet? Using the CV fiber value that model. There's lots of different types of partnership. You, we don't, you don't know which no, one. I'm, I'm saying operating partner. Are we going to basically be a governing board that delegates all this to an operating entity? entity well, that, go, that goes back to this thing. I don't know. That's one of the options. It could yeah. be that you could circle that one or you could circle this one. And right. that's, that's how it falls out. We don't know yet. And you can have a. But we're trying to well, figure it out. Who's going to decide? Hopefully, this team. Well, I think, maybe, yeah, but I, I think we need more information to make yes, that decision. Yes, we need yes. a lot more information. And, I, and, and perhaps some other than easy fiber experience. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean as you said, we need, we need a, a lot more information. We need to know, we need to know, you know, I think, I think, Jerry, I think you've done actually a very good job of breaking down the core components of this. Yeah. And, and really what we look at is we look at, essentially, there's, I would say three options, and you guys can totally correct me. There's there's the full service provider, which is like the valley, net, right? Where we don't do anything, our hands aren't dirty, blah, blah, blah. Then there it is. Then, not, a good, not a good model. Because or not valid, whatever it is. EC Fiber. EC Fiber. Yeah. I mean the, the service provider of EC Fiber. Is that ValleyNet? Right. That's ValleyNet. ValleyNet is the operating entity doing the business for EC Fiber. Yeah. EC Fiber is selling the service. So they're actually a hybrid model because they oh, yeah. have a municipal governing board that raises the money, and then they hire ValleyNet to do the work. Right. That's what you meant. That's not it. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. what you meant. That's what I meant. Um, Wait, that's a better but example of a full service would be Waitsfield Telecom. Okay. Cool. Um, or Spell Cable. Yeah, but wait a minute. But where do we fit into that model? By, by we would basically be a municipally owned version of Stow Cable or Waitsfield Station. By full service, I mean a full, oh. full service provider for us. Oh, for who does us. Are you doing everything? Right. He's thinking the other way around. He's thinking the other way around. That's, yeah. that's You're right. the CEO now, and you've got, yes. you've got I, guys driving trucks. I mean, when I, I mean, like when I when I hire an advertising agency, I either hire a full service shop or somebody that just does graphic design. Right. Right. And I'm saying we can either hire a full service shop, or we can hire somebody who just does, you know, pull, pieces. Pull work. Pull work. And if we do that, like, what does that, you know, what does that mean? Who's going to light it? Who's going to test it? And, and who's, and who's going to, and who's going to take our sort of, who's going to organize it? Who's going to, you know, essentially that's like, that's like a single or a couple people supervising a piecemeal network of, of different contractors to get the job done, right? right. And then there's the, the thing where we actually hire a bunch of people. And, and I think. Yeah, are we growing a business or are we yeah, contracting with a business? Exactly. Exactly. I think that that's, I think, so I was saying there's those three options and I think it makes sense to look into whether or not they are real options, right? We don't know. We don't, we don't know if there's a full service. We don't know if there are contractors that we could get locally who would be able to do all of those things. Would we want to become dependent on somebody who's not based here? Well, no, well, no one said anything about that. Yeah, we're, we're just, eval we're just looking, looking to evaluate. We haven't evaluated. We're just looking at the options that can be evaluated. I'm going to step way back for a second. Yeah, do it. And maybe, maybe I'm uh, <laughs> being naive here, but the um, 
fact is we're now asking uh, a group of volunteer, very part-time um, board people, if you will, to in essence take on the role of a development staff. You know, is that D O A R D or D O R D? And if we are in a uh, we're an operating entity or intend to be some kind of an operating ent entity, perhaps one of the issues that this all brings up is that we need some full-time professional help to make things uh, help make things happen who is reports to rather than saying well okay I'd like to do this but it turns out I've got too many things this month to right. uh, pay no, attention that, that's to that's a really good point at what point now do we need professional help right and so yeah. so, so one of the things I know has been done in other places uh, Central Vermont could do it which is maybe what we ought to be considering in terms of development is saying there are X number of um, well-to-do individuals within, uh, especially within this region, who uh, you, we need some story and uh, some reach out and say, we need the uh, startup capital to get a, uh, an operation going. going. We need a couple of hundred thousand bucks we, we just need, to we, figure we out need, what we, to do. We need a, a Write a plan and have a clerk. It's more than, I mean, you need an ED, you need somebody who's going to be able to look at some consulting money, you're going to need, uh, you know, because while we are maybe intelligent and well-informed, we are not in a position to actually manage the, this level of effort uh, unless somebody, I haven't seen them step up from the board yet. You know, that's a really, that's a, that's a really, really good point because I, I, I felt that, I felt both things as I was doing this. I didn't have the time. And then when I had the time, I really felt like I didn't have the expertise. And you know, I felt like I was doing a college assignment as opposed to doing something that's really productive and helpful. Um, so I, you know, but, but that's me. There are others that may have way more expertise no, and, you know, that could do this. Parallel here to what I just watched coverage go, you know, this- Disintegrate. Disintegrate. Uh, because of this lack of capacity, lack of a CEO stepping up and managing the legal team, the design team, the yeah, all of those three pieces, team. the business and all so, the marketing, all of that. So I, I mean, I love what you said. I mean, like I've been saying that since day one, right? This, this is for us. It's not a technical issue. It's a organization. It's just, it's literally organizational. So the sooner we get somebody on board so, to focus this for the board and to Somebody who can bring actual decisions, you know, like that, and and say, okay, here's what this is going to cost. Right. You know, here's what you know. Here's here's what we got to do to f figure this out, and who can help uh, make this considerably uh, considered to happen. Uh, you know, so that we can act as a board, which is saying, okay, the politics here are the uh, maybe we can talk to people we know the resources. Um, mm -hmm. But we're, we're not there, and uh, we're, we're going to be spinning our wheels to a certain degree because we don't have that capacity right now. Do, do we know where the finance committee is on? Have they even met? Yes, they met last week. The minute draft minutes were sent out. Uh, Elliot, can I, I suggest that you collapse one bullet, put high density and low density with a slash between them, and then put the word ratio out? So, I, I think I think that's something that should be on the next agenda, and actually thinking about what you just said. At what and I wrote this down is at what point do we need professional help in development? But perhaps we can come up with a really short list of items that we need professional development with. Well, and I was also saying traditionally boards, and believe me, I'm not good at this, so I'm just, I'm just uh, putting this out there. Uh, what board, boards uh, traditionally have to do at this point is say, who in my town might have twenty thousand or thirty thousand that they could. Right. Oh, right. Uh, no, I, I, I could go ask them for because this, uh, you know, to to put in. We have a structure which this can. 
work within. It is tax deductible or whatever. Uh, it could be, and there's any number of ways it might be done as a subscription or something, but you know, with the number of towns we have, uh, you know, and there, there are people in each of them with fairly... Oh, and, and let me add to that. The, the reason we decided from this committee to spin off and, and create a finance committee now was because we, we're getting near the end of the tax year. And there might, and there, 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 there actually might be a cash flow occurring in the next three months, and we should be prepared to spend it appropriately. And maybe that's a better effort of figuring out how to spend that than, than some of, because some of the are, spinning there of wheels. Because there are people living in the hinterlands with uh, consolidated uh, DSL who would like, uh, their business might like, like yours, might like to have access to a, a thing, and so they might be willing to put up some money in some kind of a local subscription. If you in Berlin or et cetera, yeah, et cetera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were, no, there were, are other folks. You know. were, were willing to say, here, can you pony up something for uh, making this because this will help drive it faster. And it's a tax deductible contribution to a good thing. I mean, it's. Yeah. No, we're, we're, go ahead. I, I, I mean, I, I mean, I think. With no, with a lack of clarity and with a, a lack of vision, I think raising significant amounts of money philanthropically well, we got, well, no, is, not the is, document is, is, is uh, uh, No, there has to be a prospectus of sorts, but I, I, I actually see the nice thing no, is we have. That's, and that's our job to develop that prospectus. Right. Yes. But, but with EC Fiber as a model that used some of this with other places like that uh, example I brought in from uh, Islesboro, you know, it is not uh, that other places have not experienced this and used that facility, capacity and facility to raise funds. So it's not like you need a full business plan with... Uh, no, this is totally startup. But, but so my no. question to you then, and I, I think we're on the same page, is are we, is what we're doing now getting us towards that prospectus that's necessary for people to fund development of this now more than concept. It's funding development. It's not, we're not asking, you know, this is what we're talking about. Help us, help us get this going because it's more, it's a larger effort than we're doing five people around the table. Right. And, and what is that, pros I don't know what that prospectus looks like, but should that be what we're focusing on doing? I it think means, I think sorry. It means hiring a clerk or executive director. Um, no, 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 no. I mean, before we do that, to get you need the money to do that. To get so before we, don't have any money. we do that. That's what would be in the perspective. Oh, that's what would be in the oh. perspective. Be, yeah. Yes, there would be a, a an executive director. There would be uh, some support. There would be consulting money. Uh, legal, uh, I, you know, yeah. legal. You know. <laughs> I gotta say, I'll be honest. That's not what I was thinking. Is the best way to waste money, but yeah, I wasn't. That's not I what I was thinking actually. I, I, yeah, I, I, w I was thinking more of if we were to let a simple contract with somebody that does this kind of work, startup work in this area. Do you know of one? Do I? I don't. But I don't know no, anything. Because I spent months trying to find one for coverage go. What? Well, I, I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure we could find one. There's it's like, gotta be. We could we could put a call to the board and we could find one. I guarantee it. It's got to be. And, and and if not, we could. I mean, it's not like it's it's not like it's a, a necessarily local thing. We could go yeah. to EC Fiber and they could probably have one or yeah, any right. of our the guy our could fellow come from Boston. Okay. Okay. people. But, See, they, but were, they started with John Roy and Stan, who were had this deep experience internally and yeah. did it voluntarily. Yeah. It's our board doesn't have that experience other than right. maybe the guy from Elmore. Right. So I just want to circle back. Um, and I think I think that we were kind of crystallizing around something that I like, which is um, sort of like a goal of this committee overall, which is to essentially develop right now the means and mechanisms to raise money. Right. What does that what does that look like and what do we need to furnish to make that happen? What does that prospectus look like? And that should be the grounding principle of everything that we discuss. Yeah, we should accomplish right. it at the next meeting so, so that we don't r lose the rest of this tax year. As a, we should have something ready for the after our next meeting to 
serve as a focus for? From, from a timing perspective, you're right. From a practical perspective, how do we do that? I mean, I mean, if you if you want, I mean, let's call the guys up at EC5 or see if they have a template and copy it. <laughs> like, it's not rocket science. People have done this before. He's a, he's a consultant. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I'm just saying, like, like if if we just as like we should lease stuff that's already on the ground, we should find stuff that's already written sure. and leverage it. Right? Absolutely. Um, the okay. five is not a lot of shit too. <laughs> it still is. Yeah, yeah. The only the subscribe is up to five years. Wow. Really, the prepaid five years? Well, yeah. is Mike Michael's. For profit, it's his company. Yeah, he's not likely to give us uh, his business plan. No. But somebody's, you know, he's again off the freaking government tip. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you want to? So, so we can. Uh, so we need. I guess the first and most obvious thing is to contact EC Fiber. Yes. They've been helpful with us. We're not a competitor. Really. Um, now they meet next Tuesday too, so if somebody acts quick. If, if Carol needs to ask the board, the governing board's permission to share those documents, she'll need to do it at the meeting next week. So, who who knows the people at EC Fiber the best to contact them, and who can do that Hansen. contacting? Hanson. Mm -hmm. Hanson. Hansen. All right. He's not here, so let's assign it no, to him. He's, 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 yeah. he's not here. He's, pro he's probably home with the kids. So we'll just tell him that he, that's he what you get for not showing up. Is he going to ask for Yes. Well, they're they're we can, um, fundraising they're, materials. They're earliest. Early earliest. Uh, earliest. Earliest. Yeah. Yeah. They're safe funding. And if they had a prospectus, let's get a copy of their prospectus that they used. Very good. Well, Very what did they use for seed funding? Thank you, Elliot. I feel like we've accomplished something now. So their, their key <laughs> clerks were millionaires, so. There you go. Well, we might find them out there. You don't know, you don't know me. I live in Barry City, but I could be, I could have means. You don't oh, know. good, thank you. The, the new Brooklyn? <laughs> I, I'm glad you finally stepped up. The was it you that you know, <laughs> told me the Barry's the new Brooklyn? I've, I've said that before. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Was it a team? I was trying to tell somebody, it is, it's spreading like wildfire that it's Barry's the new Brooklyn. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> so we are, we are going to be a, watch out, a late, know. we're going to be a late, a late uh, committee if we don't... Uh, I think the next couple... Of <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Various bank services appropriate for nonprofit use. I think you were going to look up something about... I think we passed that off to the... Finance committee. Finance committee, totally. Oh, okay. okay, I thought you were going to talk to I the did. banks about what... The bank, yeah. And they have free checking and free... All good stuff. All, they told okay. me what they need is the corporate papers. Which we don't have. We better have them by now. I just learned that you last, ask for I learned at the last governing board meeting you weren't there is that our six month uh, prohibition has expired. No, it starts it even when, when we submit the papers because nobody nobody followed up to see that we got all the right towns yeah. in the bank filing of the state. So we've lost six months. We're on probation for another six months. Huh. So but we don't even know if it went in. Um, and You're right. uh, sorry, by the way, um, that's intolerable in my opinion. Just, that's what you get from volunteers. Just a, just a. Um, oh man, I hate to go back. Um, the other thing that we do, we do need, if we're taking money, is we need organizational mechanisms, not just bank accounts, but organizational mecha mechanisms to. Who's and I guess that could be the finance committee, but yeah, that should be the that should be science. something that they de they develop that. They but should. but I don't think checks? I don't know if anybody. Well, no, more like mean? more like keeping track of. People, so if, like, for example, we get all that money and then somebody does that throw an exception, we can like give that money back. Um, like, like, like making sure we're logging oh, right. who's giving us money. Well, that's what I think the treasurer careful. will do is yeah. track. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm concerned that it, I'm concerned that we've now tentatively appointed a treasurer subject to being removed as delegate. Uh, who is primarily responsible for having lost the six months of our probation period. 
because we have a chair that didn't follow up to make sure that stuff got in on time. So we, we have some fundamental weaknesses from the get-go. But that's the nature of Boy. what we're doing. Um, well, if we say that and put that on video, we're never going to get funded. <laughs> you just put it on video, <laughs> you dude. just did. Thanks, go on. Thanks, go on. Yeah. <laughs> I do wonder about you sometimes. <laughs> I really do. I really do. <laughs> anyway. Uh, uh, C CVI talking points? Are we, can we, that, was that, that, is, I, I is that was, pretty much done? I didn't receive anything from folks. Um, and so... What is it? We, it was just like taking Jeremy's thing and just... We, right, right, right. And, oh, and oh, making Jeremy. it the elevator speech. Oh, yeah, that. Taking Jeremy's thing and... and, and you mean the, the board's thing at the, from the last meeting? No, Jeremy, Jeremy wrote talking points that he distributed to... From way back when. Yeah. And, we and people video. had some, some consternation about certain points that were in there I that were like the, the, incredibly the specific. Went out on letter and it continued to repeat stuff we haven't agreed to. Okay, yep. And so this is part of that, right? Is to make sure that we have uh, something that has been agreed upon by everybody. Um, we're and gonna do that before, to be voted on our next Tuesday's meeting? So I have, so our point of our like to do from the last meeting was to take the document which is on the drive and which we had a, we have provided a word document of redline it and if with any suggestions you had and send it Jeez. to me so that I could right. I, I didn't do it either integrate or not I you know I'd essentially be taking an executive role in choosing what to integrate what not to integrate and then deliver that to the board for their review and discussion okay uh, I didn't get anything that's fine right. and I purposefully didn't send anything because I thought it was it was okay. I thought there was there was enough yeah. there to, to use. So it's talking points. Is that the name of the file? Yeah, maybe. Uh, Are we still working with a wide open drive to the whole universe, the whole world? So Nobody yeah, answered that to be. me. I asked that question because I'm using Front Porch Forum to let Cavus know what's going on, and I never got an answer. Is it open or not? Because well, I, I want to I want to put the minutes in Front Porch Forum. Okay, well, I think we need to. It, maybe it belongs in the development committee. Our, what is our web presence? Uh, do we have folders that are secured that are not available to any other than registered users? Uh, do we have a website? You know, because I'm not going to use Facebook. Right. No, okay. we don't have a website because we don't have any money to. Build one. Put up, build one. You can do one for free, but we need we need a we need a URL first. Yeah. We need a name. We need a name, a URL. And we need and, 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 yes. and we need and we need a mission and we need a and we need a mission. We could temporarily use a, my pages at Google to create a CD website that would have all our minutes. I, I think I think I think I think there is a point where if we do jury rigged I mean this is just my opinion. Um, if we do jury rigged stuff we get perceived as being yeah, jury rigged. Yeah. No, I agree and with that. What's that? I agree with that. I, I'd rather have something that's like... A, you mean we're going to wait until we're funded and hire a webmaster? Look, man, I think that there's... I think that I think that there are some things that are essential. I think there's other things that aren't essential. I think being able to say with accuracy what we're about and what we're doing on a website is important I before agree. you put a website up. So I think we need to... I think we need to... Get those talking points in order. I think we need to get our like a mission, and then we get a name. And that's all we need. We just need to be able to say who we are, what we're doing. So we to accomplish all that next Tuesday's meeting. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not even. A, I'm not even a board member. No, as, 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 <laughs> but yes. anyway, which file is the talking points? Oy vey. All right. Here we go. Folders. Yeah, that was supposed to get broken down into folders. I know. Two months she, ago. she never did that either. Folders. Is it the uh, mission vision thing, or is it building the informational foundation? I don't know which one is. Okay. Or the C what, what, 2018 what CBI information sheet. Yeah, that's probably yeah, it. What's probably the, what's the network <clears throat> down here? I don't know. I'm using my upstairs second step uh, down here. It is uh, ISC guest. Passwords ISC guest ISC guest, which is has the same case as the SSID. 
So if it's capital I, 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 I don't know what I ask it. Oh, well, I see it's a, uh, it's open. Oh, it's open, cool. Wow, we've made great strides. Anyway, um, yeah, there's a thing up there. Um, okay, well, I think somebody needs to take over management of the drive because- yeah, I do too. Mm -hmm. This is not being handled well by our, whoever's doing it now. Yes. That's a cluster that- I don't I'm think anybody's doing, doing it now. Well, I, I don't, do you think that we can fit that under our, our <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who owns this drive. Okay, let's put it in as a. Let's, okay, I mean, so, I think it's just Jeremy's. So Jeremy Jeremy's started it years ago, and it's, it's so it's the six, same thing. So it's six forty. So round table. <laughs> I think I think this falls under the round table of like yeah we need to we need the drive organized. No, we need to get the drive organized. Uh, <clears throat> and we need a, a at least detailing our purpose and our three month vision for raising some money before the end of the year. System. Organized <laughs> and has various <laughs> levels <laughs> of privacy. All right, does that sound? <laughs> yes. So I've basically yeah, yeah. taken this issue and tied it to our committee, yeah. making it germane. Right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you did. You did a good job. All right. Um, uh, with with, sorry, with name and mission, we hope to build a simple website. All right? Yep. Does that sound right? Yep. Okay. So we basically said what we need in order to build a website, a name, and we need a mission. Um, and um, we need Website slash domain. And yeah. then we're going to... Yeah, I was just gonna buy these domains right now, so we'll just have them. Okay. Um, I mean, it's not it's not a tremendous uh, expense. Well, I, I think we should push the, right twelve bucks each. Yeah. And I think we should push the board to either delegate so that we can just run with writing a prospectus. We the time does not allow. Yeah, no, I think we can do time. that. I think we can. I think they seem on. very open to. Yeah. That. <laughs> don't get in. Oh, no, believe me, that's not a hard one. It's, like, it's, we don't uh, have time at, at that board meeting to, to So we need write. to basically be granted the permission to write the conceptual prospectus fundraising pitch yeah. as well as uh, okay. a recruiting board. I, I, I think we have that permission. Okay. We're writing that, but we have a finance committee. What are they going to do? They're looking at just how we're going to handle money and okay. where okay. are we going to... Look for it. Long, I think they're looking long range of bonding options and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. But we're looking at crowdsource and philanthropy right now. Yeah. Sounds good. Great. Okay. Um, Chairman, where are we on the agenda? We are just about done on the agenda. Next meeting, we need to set a time and place. We've been doing uh, <coughs> the first Thursday. first Thursday. First Thursday sound good? Do we know yeah. what the first Thursday is? Do you think we need one sooner in light of the urgency oh, of getting could. this we year's? Again. We so. could meet sooner. That may be difficult for me, but we could meet sooner. I, uh, I think if we're, if we're going to get a, a prospectus and a job description out. Uh, a job, one, dis a job yeah. description? Just a prospectus. Just a prospectus. How about Thursday the 20th? I can't do it. <sighs> we're looking at October, right? No, well, oh, we're looking next, at September. Right. We can meet again on the, the you know, a regular meeting for then, but do we want a prospectus meeting before then, right? Sure. Yeah, I mean, that's... Um, Did I sort of like the first place then? Uh, yeah. So, I mean, obviously it's, I mean, it's a little contingent on... Uh, What's the condition on? on the EC fiber giving us material, right? Right. Uh, uh, that, um, that would be the uh, somewhat. But that could be somewhat. voted on next Tuesday. I think I can pretty. I think I can. So you know, I think I can navigate 18? the. the I can navigate the fundraising piece of it. I mean, we. I fundraise all the time. It's part of my job. Um, I can do that piece. I can do the graphic design piece. I can say we need a headline. We need a, you know, some body copy. We need this. We need that. Um, what I can't do is obviously like the more organizational like 
pieces of it, the promise, you know, if we're making any promises or representations. We're, that we're not at this point, we're not allowed to. Yeah, okay. We won't be allowed to make any promises or raise any money, <laughs> any, raise any money for the next six months. No, we, we can raise, raise money. any money. We can we, raise money. Yeah, we can raise we money. We can raise money. We can raise money. But not with a promise to pay, repay, right? We can, pro we can, it's philanthropy, we, we don't have yeah, to, we don't have to, we can ask for donations, right. we cannot borrow it's, it's, it's money. Correct. It's it's correct. So it's, we cannot right. borrow money. Yeah. Right. No, we're not in a position to we, borrow money. No, we, we yeah, we can, we can get donations. <laughs> <laughs> we, could, um, we, we could set up a Kickstarter or whatever. And, uh, it, but so I do we, think if, if we do so, I think it would be prudent and ethical to keep track of who gave us. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So that if that, if the rug is pulled out from under us, God forbid, Keep it back we can, to we the can, extent we, we can, can make, yeah. Well, so are we doubting whether the finance committee has that capacity, or are we thinking that that's part of the development committee's obligation? What? what? To, what keep, to set up a system to keep track of who donates. The, the to, finance to, I mean, should do that. To be, I mean, I don't know their backgrounds completely. I don't, they, none, of them, none of them seem to have a strong... Fourth, um, are we talking about the fourth? Yeah. Non-profit. Well, she... Philanthropy. The, the, that's that's my prospective treasurer, who is our clerk, does have a finance background. She does. She works. She works in the, the community loan fund. Community loan fund. Oh, okay. Well, then, sure. Great. So the next meeting is the fourth. Are we trying to meet meet before the fourth? I'd like to suggest we meet on the eighteenth. I, I personally, I'm gone from the thirteenth until the twentieth. I'm gone. Uh, I'm gone, but you guys can meet without me. Yeah, I mean, you can meet without me, too. I mean, you can I'm definitely meet. I'm, I'm pretty well tied up for the next Okay, okay. well, I, I, we've got this urgency to get try to get ready to things. accept money, and... Yeah. I can't. Well, I'm, I'm just... Got, I'm, it's just okay. I'm in I got Seattle. a mom in the hospital, and, a, and I'm going to be in Portland. But business yeah. commitment. What, what am I going to do? Let's meet up oh, halfway. Yeah, we'll <laughs> see you in Kansas City. Um, I'll be in oh, Seattle. Yeah. I'll be in Portland. Uh, Pardon me. So wait, wait. We what could. did you say? When when do you come become available? Twenty first. The twenty first, I'm available. Well, let's just meet on the twenty second. Twenty second is a Saturday. Uh, that's fine with me. Yeah. Uh, oh, twenty second Saturday. What's my wife got scheduled for the twenty second? Twenty second is the ACL annual meeting. Yeah, yeah. We're we're volunteers. We can meet on weekends. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not overtime. Uh, I don't know. It's always yeah. overtime. Let's do let's do Saturday the twenty second. Okay, let me just double. Check. Let's see. What I, I, I will not be able to commit until two days before. So. That's right. I love having two different calendars. I'm gonna I'm gonna Shit. try real hard for the twenty second. And can we set up a, a Google calendar for each subcommittee? I'm not gonna make it. So uh, I can't do the twenty second. But you guys should meet without me. I'm happy to write what I think beforehand. Um, and provide it. Uh, in terms of Google Calendar, I think isn't that doesn't that fall under that whole thing? Anybody with a Gmail address can set up a CV if they But doesn't it fall under the um, issue that we were discussing, which is what organizing the the Google if we site? Have, if we have a common calendar, does that fall under the public records? Yeah. You mean no? You mean this? I mean, to have a calendar? Yeah, private no, calendar. No, all you're doing no. is looking at prospective dates and dragging them in front of when they move. You're, okay. You're not, yeah, I, I, think we're I, I don't know. I, I, I'm sorry. I know that was like an absurd question. I just, I'm <laughs> tired. <laughs> it's just the kind of thing you trip over. Though. <laughs> hey, I got a book group to go to after this. Yeah. Oh, the book group. You're, yeah, yeah. yeah we got to well, get you out of here. 7.30 is fine. What book again? Uh, uh, the Gentleman from Moscow. So it sounds like we said February or September twenty second and October fourth. Same time, same yeah. place. We won't be able to meet here no, on the twenty second. We can we can meet at the a bar. A bar. <laughs> now wait a minute. <laughs> that is perfectly fine with me, but I am going to see a problem coming. I'm kidding. Kidding. Oh, you're kidding. That was a joke. Uh, we'll oh. have to find a place. It's, it's, it's really hard to do phone in. No, let's do it. Let's and we would have to have the, the, you know, video. Yeah, no, let's, let's figure it out. Yeah. Um, 
place to be the jar. Kellogg cupboard. Or I like that little room at the back of the First Branch Cafe. First Branch North Cafe. Branch Cafe. Okay. So I've written yep. September 2nd and October 4th, 2018, location DBT. Got it. Sounds good. Okay. Okay, and uh, should I? do you want me to note that the focus of the September 22nd yeah. meeting is? Yes. I'll get in touch with Hansen on co contacting EC Fiber. Right. Yeah. And uh, do my best to make that happen over the next few days. Well, I don't want to step on his toes, but he hasn't been so reliable in my experience. So, so he shows up on Tuesday night. So we need a backup plan, if Jeremy. Does well, yeah. Well, the backup true. plan is I'll call him and talk to them myself. Yeah, I mean, right. Okay, you have Herb's number. I, I I I've met with them before. So you got his home, Herb's home number. I do not have Herb's home number. I wasn't going to call him at home, but that's where you reach him. I wasn't going to call Herb. <laughs> Well, Irv's the one who can, he's the chair of the board. He can give Carol the permission to give Maybe us he can give us permission to their Google Drive, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I was going to go through Carol, is what I was, was my intention. Carol's going to be very busy and not have the authority to do anything. I don't think well, it's Well, he has to go to the board. We're trying to get it on the board agenda. That's all right, isn't it? I think it'd be better to have somebody ask Stan or Irv. Well, Jeremy's got the assignment there. Yeah, we'll see who Jeremy is comfortable but asking. And what's our fallback plan if Jeremy doesn't do it? Time Carol, is short. I'm going to call Carol. That's the fallback plan. And we're hoping we're did something. We're making sure something gets done. Elliot can send these minutes to issues. Jeremy right now. <laughs> yes, and I can even give him a call. We can all get him on the phone if we want. Uh, While he's reading bedtime stories. Herb. And your little dog, too. Here's a couple of phone numbers. Herb, 649 5617 is his own number. I'm not going to write this in the. Minutes. No, I'll, I'll, I'll write it down. Six foot what? 649 5617. Which is the English plus one. 649? Yes, that's normal. Okay. His cell, I think, is. Two How'd you get those numbers? Public information? I've been, I've been talking to them. I've been talking to them for years. They're just wrestling with the same issue of what's public and what's not. And, and so I'm kind of on the outs until we resolve that because they don't think their digital files of where they're, they built fiber using public money are public records. And the poll numbers that they built fiber on. What are they afraid of? Yeah, really. It's, it's being guided by Carol. This, Carol doesn't want to lease fiber to coverage code because people will use LTE wireless and not buy a fiber connection. I'm like, that's so <laughs> And in violation of statutory policy. <laughs> I haven't had this whole thing. I mean, so, so I, 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 should, I can report Michael Verbron met with you Alpha yesterday that? on Kingdom Fiber. It's because he knew Krista from BTA. And I just want to let you know that the guy, Jeremy at, Hansen, the oh, Rebecca, operations yeah. guy at Velco has looked at all our videos. Hansen's got a number of uh, I've looked at all emails. Our other videos. That's sad. <laughs> at no, they're, they're trying That's to That's one out. I also sent they're it to, uh, in, in I think it's Jeremy Hansen 3 at yeah. Norwich. So, the they're interested in this. Right, but we... No, it doesn't show up. They don't know what... Uh, they're already yeah, no, okay. I realize that. So they have to Three. put a filing in probably on what their rates are going to be. Or the .edu. special contract. In the it may or may not fly. I'm just exactly. remembering off the top of my head. Yes, I got a bunch of state emails, and Fairpoint and First Light were charging... Could you also add me to that, yeah. the same please? Per month. In Kingdom Fiber, they're offering a telephone package for $39 a month. I can get Umla for So usually a I haven't year. been providing them. Why would like you do Umla? Edit, editable? I might add you. Yeah, become, as a become, become a. This is an internet phone. Well, this is Why fine. Why would you just uh, become I'm a. I'm not going to change get a discounted rate from Umla. Uh, 
for your client base. How reliable is it? I mean, I figure I'll just get. I've had it for five years. Oh wait, we didn't want to do that, right? As long as you're within a. I'm fried, man. No, I'm using it as a Wi-Fi phone. It's a Wi-Fi phone, internet phone. You got Whitaker on there. It doesn't cost as much as he's selling it for. This is where I'm very curious about his pure LLC, where he's making money and how he's making. That's the crash free project. So I'm sending you yeah. all the minutes yeah. from this meeting. Thank you. Um, I'm sending them to USB only. I'm going to give Re Rebecca edit access so she can clean them up. But I think that that's okay, what I'm going to do. Right. Thank you. And why don't we set an example for Rebecca and start, you know, putting things in a drive that's only shared with certain people? Yeah, the thing is. <laughs> Eight and not her? We're, we're not going <laughs> to no, set that up. No, now. but show her how she needs to be getting that drive organized if she's going to be the clerk. Yeah, I just... Um, or no, she can't be the clerk. Is this on your drive or our drive? This is, on, this, is, this is hosted on my drive, my personal drive, and I'm just sharing it with you. Yep. You can add it to your drives, um, and she can add it to so the, her, C, yeah, the, the CBI CD. drive. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. I think it, this committee really? should tackle data sharing architecture. Well, I, well I don't know, yeah. Because it's not going to get done otherwise. Yeah, that's, I mean, I feel like that's like, isn't there like a governance committee? Meetings adjourned, correct? Data, yeah. yeah.